and today I am bringing to you a very bold haul. Um, I thought it wasn't really one for doing the whole haul thing on the blog or on the YouTube because sometimes it can seem a little bit like hey yay look at me how much money I have I'm able to buy all of these things but um, now that I think about it well, I spent a lot of money that I don't have. Hello, wedding planning. Hello, haulage. <laughs> and I think it's really nice to see other people and their shopping habits and perhaps feel a little bit better about your own. I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on hauls in the comment section below. And yeah, here is the Dolly Rouge YouTube inaugural haul video. Hopefully there won't be too many more of these because, well, unless I win the lottery or something, because I have a wedding to pay for and weddings are very expensive. And so is most of the Brown Thomas Beauty Hall, which is where I've been hanging out for like the past month and a half, which is not good. So yeah, let's get stuck in. So I'm going to start with the drugstore slash chemist type stuff. Um, and get that out of the way and then we'll get to the good stuff the high-end stuff so um i've seen lovely girly bitson's review of these foundations i think she did one on both of them i know she did one on the infallible 24 hours maybe also the true match but everyone's been loving all over true match since amelia liana started saying it was a dupe for georgia romani lemon suck anyway i went into booth and i bought the l'oreal infallible infallible 24 hour and the true match foundation and these are two like completely different colors i find that the infallible 24 hour tends to run a little bit yellow toned which is not all that bad for me because i have a sort of a neutral slash warm skin tone and i get redness so yellow can kind of cancel out the redness a bit although beware if you have the irish celtic complexion these are quite yellow um, but yeah, I'm really liking this so far and it does seem to be a dupe of my favourite Lancome Tanti Doll Ultra 24 hours. So stay tuned for my review of that one. And as far as the L'Oreal True Match is concerned, um, I haven't owned the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Maybe I need to buy it for the purposes of comparison for this review, but um, I really quite like this. I wear this on days when I don't need long wear performance out of my foundation. Not saying it's not long wearing, but it's definitely not as long wearing as the Infallible. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I commute to Dublin from Carlo every single day um, and it means that I'm usually up and putting on my makeup at about 6 o'clock in the morning and I don't get home until 7 or 8 and if I go to the gym and that on the way home, that means I'm not home till 9 or maybe even 10 o'clock. Um, especially if I have events or something on in Dublin in the evening time. So I need a foundation that lasts. So True Match isn't getting much love. Um, except for at the weekends, but I do really like to wear it at the weekends because it really is luminous. It's lovely and luminizing and brightening, um, especially if you're tired, it's a good one. I only have one of these here, although I actually bought two or three of them. It's the new Maybelline Color Drama, what's it called? Intense Velvet Lip Pencil, and these are absolutely amazing. Um, go check out Orla from Makeup Over Minds review on her blog of them, and she'll show you all the swatches and all the goodness, basically. Um, they're pencil lipsticks which look like this they look very unassuming um, but they apply well and they dry down to a sort of a velvety matte finish and they last so well and the colours are amazing Orla reckons that um, the shade Light Light It Up is a dupe for the NARS Cruella and everyone knows anyone knows about NARS Cruella so um, yeah there's a swatch of the shade which is um what is it? 140 Minimalist. Um, it's just a nice everyday pink shade. They last well, they're so handy to throw in your bag. You don't need to put on a lip liner because you can kind of just line your lips with this on the go. Um, I keep lighted up in my bag as my emergency red lip because everyone needs an emergency red lip. What can I say? So yep, yeah, loving those. So also from Maybelline, I spotted that they have brought out their potential dupe for the Their Real Gel Liner and that's the lasting drama black shock liner and they do seem to be very similar tip wise i actually have their reel here as a comparison um 
yep they're really quite similar um i'm still comparing them in terms of review so don't consider this a review but they're very similar so if you don't want to spend lots of money on their reel i could probably say if you say at this stage go for the maybelline version they're not hugely different um, but stay tuned for a review to come up and a comparison of both of these. I have one more chemistry drugstore type thing and that is the Hydraluron Moisture Jelly. Now, as a point of order, I'm going to say that everyone in the beauty industry, as far as I'm concerned, is producing the name Hydraluron wrong. I could be wrong. The creators might say Hydraluron like everybody else does. But um, Hydraluron is so named because it the original one was pretty much pure hyaluronic acid so it combined hyaluronic with hydra from hydration or from water to give the connotation of a hydration skin product so when you put the word hydra and hyaluronic together you get hydraluron because it's hyaluronic so it's hydraluron um yeah, anyway, I'm sure that everyone is going to be in the comments below saying, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, you're wrong, you're wrong. But as a scientist, I know how to pronounce hyaluronic. And I'm a little bit of a pedant, so I, I apologize in advance. So maybe Indeed Labs could let me know how it's supposed to be pronounced, if I'm right or if I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll eat some humble lipstick. Yeah. Um, anyway, I got the Hydraluron Moisture Jelly because I wanted to see how it would compare to my um, quite beloved Vichy um, Aquilia Thermal Power Serum, which I've been using and loving, but unfortunately I find it stings my face a bit if I use it after using quite a strong uh, glycolic wash, um, which I have somewhere actually. Maybe I don't have it here. Um, which I absolutely love, which is the new Strata um, Foaming Glycolic Wash. It's a very strong glycolic wash, but it's brilliant. Um, I found that the Vichy Serum stings my face a bit, probably because it's so heavily perfumed. I love Vichy products, but I hate how heavily perfumed they are. My skin just doesn't like it. So I got this to use instead to see and, and compare. And good news, it definitely doesn't sting my face because it's not really perfumed. Um, bad news is if you loved Hydraluron, um, this is different. A lot of people are saying, oh yeah, look, it's a jelly with the hydraluron stuff in it. It's not really, it's actually mostly glycerin. But glycerin is also a really good humectant. Humectant is a water attracting agent. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. So it is a similar product. Um, and it actually, it includes water, I think as well, which hydraluron doesn't. So if you're finding that hydraluron used to sort of sit in your face, not absorb and not really hydrate your skin, this one will probably be better for you. So yeah, liking that. Now we come to the good stuff. Um, yes, most of this stuff comes from the Brown Thomas Beauty Hall, our Space and K, or the Arnett's Beauty Hall, because since I've moved to, well, no, I haven't moved to Dublin, sorry. Since I've been working in Dublin and I've had some spare time after work and before events and stuff like that, I have kind of been wandering into those places and, when I wander in, I can't help but not leave things there. It's just, it's a crime to leave empty handed, a crime. So yeah, some really bold haulage has happened. So right, what we start with? I think we'll start with fragrance and I picked this fragrance as um, my potential new winter fragrance and it is the Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. And I only got the 30 ml bottle, the little teeny one, because I actually tend to get really bored of fragrance pretty quickly. But I absolutely love this. Oh my God, it's so comforting and warming. And it's a little bit like the Body Shop, um, what was it called? It's a little bit like um, the Body Shop White Musk Smoky Rose in that it has a gorgeous rose, but also sort of um, an almost a black guarantee sort of a note quite a fruity autumnal sort of a note in there with vanilla and it's absolutely gorgeous apparently there's coffee in there as well and i'm addicted to coffee which is always good but i'm i literally want to eat this it is smells so good and it just makes me feel yum um and i would say i'll go through this bottle pretty quickly so i'll begin the bigger one soon these are very bold purchases um i went to the chanel counter in arnett's and i picked up the new Le Blanc base and the new Vital Lumiere powder foundation. And what can I say? This base is absolutely gorgeous. You only need one pump to 
cover your whole face and even at that it's a bit too much because I really only like to luminize the center of my face um it's lovely and, and sort of moisturizing hydrating um there is no discernible sort of scent to it that I can see which means that it's not going to be irritating to sensitive skin and it just sort of offers a sort of a soft focus effect over your face um I'm wearing it right now if you kind of want to see how it works um yeah it's just really nice and light reflecting goodness good for anyone with fine lines and wrinkles because the hydration will help pump them up a bit and then the illumination will help to bounce light off it so that you can't see the wrinkles in front of because I'm getting them right here from squinty squinty yeah so yeah I really do really like this under my foundation and it's only like I think it was only like 34 euro and I was like really from a, a, like a, a makeup skincare product from Chanel only 34 euro I'm like to shut up and take my money um yeah unfortunately the Vita Lumiere powder wasn't quite so inexpensive I think this was 65 but um I absolutely love powder foundations having oily skin but now that I'm increasingly quickly getting near to age 30 next couple of weeks won't lie I'm having a bit of a panic about it but anyway um yeah my fine lines and wrinkles aren't loving powders um and powder foundations anymore and um, powders are starting to settle into fine lines and make them look even worse than they actually are so um when I read about the Vita Lumiere powder and how it was um sort of a more soft smooth hydrating type of a powder I was all over it and um I absolutely love it <laughs> I really really do kills me to love a 65 euro powder but I do um so you see in here you have a sort of a little mesh thing that seems to be made out of some sort of fabric so it's a bit flexible which means that you can sort of dip your brush into it your brush will touch off of the powder and come out and you can then kind of swirl it around the swirly bits here just to distribute the powder all over your brush and it means that you're not kind of tipping powder into the lid of a pot and then having loads of powder left over and you try to put the lid on the pot and then the powder goes everywhere so it's actually a really good dispensing mechanism that's on this and the powder is just gorgeous it's lovely and soft um it can give full coverage um depending on what type of a brush you use if you use a kabuki brush you'll get full coverage out of this um really it's more of a sort of a sheer to medium if you use a normal powder brush um, I'm wearing it at the moment if you, if you want to assess how good it is I have a spot right here one around here and um, one around here if you want to see how good the coverage is um, but again it's a lovely sort of a soft focus powder it's almost hydrating it's weird to say a powder is hydrating because powders can't really be hydrating and um, but you can see it I just applied it just up there and um, gorgeous and illuminating and I have to say I absolutely love this powder kills me to love a 65 euro powder but if it's going to obfuscate my fine lines, then hey, look, I'm all over that. <laughs> so, um, on the same day, very bold, I also picked up the new. Oh god, I also picked up the new Urban Decay Naked Basics Two Palette because who doesn't love a good neutral palette? And it can be kind of hard to find good matte neutrals out there. Um, this is what it looks like. It's pretty similar to the Urban Decay Naked Basics Original, which I have here as well. So Naked Basics Original, Naked Basics 2, um, it's meant to be a little bit more taupey but I'm going to be doing a comparison post on the blog so you can figure out whether you really need to get it if you don't have the original Naked Basics. Continuing with eyes, I also picked up the uh, Shiseido Eyelash Curler. Um, I was originally in the market for the Shumera eyelash curler and I went to Brent Thomas specifically to get that but I ended up being very distracted by the Charlotte Tilbury counter walking out with a load of Charlotte Tilbury and no eyelash curler so um I went to my local Shiseido counter in Carlo and I picked up this baby and it's just it's brilliant it doesn't pinch my eyes because my eyes tend to be a little flatter I think a lot of girls tend to be a little flatter and the more rounded eyelash curlers can actually like pinch at the edges not pleasant but I am in dire need of a good eyelash curler since I got my eyelash extensions off and my poor eyes look totally bare so yeah this is an amazing eyelash curler I think it was only 23 or 24 euro and it could probably last forever and you can get replacement pads for it so yeah sold speaking of Charlotte Tilbury I made a 
sneaky little purchase. Yeah, I went in for the eyelash curler, came out with these. So um, I had been to the Charlotte Tilbury launch event and I had very graciously, thankfully received some um, eye products from the range to test out, which a review will be coming soon of them. Um, but I was really, really intrigued by the lip products, particularly the shade Bitch Perfect, which came from Lovely Girly Bits got the other day and I wanted to buy it, but I don't have any money left after all this haulage. And um, they didn't have it in stock the day that I went in, but they did have this one. I'll put that one. Um, which is Stone Rose. As you can see, it's a real gorgeous 90s nude and I'm wearing it on my lips at the moment. It is just beautiful. It's kind of, um. Kyle Jenner lips, really gorgeous 90s nude, but with a bit of dimension. As well, I picked up the lip cheat to go with it. This is Pillow Talk Perfect Nude Lip Liner again. Uh, it's actually pretty much the same colour as my natural lips, which is a bonus. It means I can use it with whatever lipstick I want. I also picked up the gloss just to give the nude lip a bit more dimension because I'm a bit scared of nude lips, I won't lie. Um, it's funny, like, I'm so much more comfortable wearing a red lip than I am a nude lip. So to give the nude lip a bit more dimension, I picked up this gloss in Ibiza Nights and it's a little bit sparkly, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous nude um, lip gloss with beautiful gold and silver sparkles in there. Not so much to make you look like disco lips, because generally I don't like sparkly stuff when it comes to my lips. Just enough just to give a little bit of dimension, so it's quite, quite lovely. So yeah, Charles Tilbury lip products. Um, I also then, then, I had to go in and check out the new NARS Audacious lip range. I had to, it just had to be done. Come on, they're things of beauty, really. Um, at the same time, I also needed to get a replacement for my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer cause it's coming to the end of its life. So I asked for that and the, the lady on the counter who I think was new actually gave me the regular concealer. Didn't realise until later on and I actually needed to apply a concealer by that stage. So I was like, eh, feck it, you know what, I'll keep it and I'll get my Radiant Creamy Concealer another time. But yep, that was the regular nurse concealer. It's grand. It's no Radiant Creamy Concealer though, I'll be honest with you. Might be a bit better for my under eyes because the Radiant Creamy Concealer, um, it, it dries quite well in that it's quite long wearing. Um, but if you have dry under eyes, it will settle in your and, and make your under eyes look more dry. So this one is a bit more creamy than the Creamy Concealer, which is strange. <laughs> but then again, um, NARS also call their Sheer Glow Foundation Sheer and it's not sheer at all. So yeah, Creamy Concealer isn't creamy and concealer is creamy, yeah. I kind of need to sort that out. Um, anyway, this aside, here's the big one. I picked up, I went in for the shade Charlotte, which is a gorgeous deep, kind of a purpley vampy red. Um, they didn't have it, it was sold out, which means I'm gonna have to go back. Oh well. Um, I picked up Olivia. Now, I think I've probably said on Instagram, um, Facebook and Twitter that I need another red, like I need a hole in the head, but just look at it, it's so beautiful. I haven't swatched this yet, I haven't applied it to my lips because I literally just took the photos of it before I filmed this video, so you're going to be the first to see my swatches of this lipstick. Let's see my reaction. Mm. Oh. 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 Look at that. I might have to put this on for my next video. <laughs> yeah, she's a beaut. Oh. <laughs> so that's it. I've come to the end of my box. Buggity ping. Yes, that's it for my haul. Um, as you can see, uh, it was quite an expensive haul, and I'm scared to add up the cost of all of those products but that's what happens when a beauty junkie lands in Dublin and lots of pretty beauty counters around and you have time to spare so yeah I regret nothing <laughs> please do let me know what you think of the products I got and what you think of haul videos in general if you think they're a bit showy offy and you'd rather I don't do them or if you really like seeing other people's shopping habits and living vicariously through them and then also justifying your own shopping habits because everyone else is doing the same and hashtag feeling spendy a la Amelia Liana um, anyway let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time thanks guys bye
I think I put myself back. <laughs> I didn't